Well, welcome back to the Norfolk Broads here in England, United Kingdom. And the first day of January 2022, we've come over to the Norfolk Broads cottage to see what's happening here in the garden and to start doing some work on the borders, which really have been a little neglected, to be absolutely honest, over the course of December, which here in the UK was a particularly grey damp and quite miserable affair but just look what we've got here 1st of January blue skies come out Ted's starting to wander out and enjoy the garden yes he hates the wet but a bit of warmth a bit of sun and he just wants to be out and about exploring same with the spaniel so we are going to show you around this garden see what's happening as much a exploration for us as it will be to show you where we're at with the maintenance here. Lots to do, some greenhouse jobs, some border jobs, a lot of tidying up jobs. Luckily, we've got a bit of help in this garden and a chap that does our hedges and cuts the lawns and the path down to the cottage has hacked back this area of reed, which is an absolute nightmare to do by hand, but with some power tools, he's managed to get all that out and onto the compost heaps which opens it up for the spring bulbs, which we've got planted around here. And they're starting to come up already. Just look here, 1st of January and already the first of the, I think these are probably looking at them, tete a or February gold daffodils coming through. But what we've also got planted around here is an awful lot of primrose. And I'm just having a look now. Yes, here we are, just starting to emerge. These do tend to get cut back in this position because they're in the lawn. So they tend to get a haircut at the end of the season. Loads more bulbs coming up around here as well, which is good. Those primrose, I'm glad to see that they survived on this bank. They did really well last year. And this year, not as many as I had hoped to be honest, but some still coming through. And it may just be that it's a little too early for them if they have been strimmed around here or cut with a lawnmower. Yes, look, there's one here just coming through as well. I think there's probably more of them here. Yes, look, another one there just coming through. There's a lot more here than first meets the eye. So hopefully we'll have a good display of primrose on this bank, which we can appreciate having cut back the reeds. And the water in the bottom there with the dikes that surround this cottage, just this little spur that comes into this garden allows some of the wildlife to come through and in which is a lovely feature, but as I say, it does need this rather radical haircut once a year to keep it looking good later in the season. One of the jobs we're really going to blitz today is to cut all the green leaf off this hellebore or Christmas rose. You can see the new buds just starting to come through here. Just look at these sparks starting to emerge through the soil. And by removing all the leaf growth, what we will allow to emerge. And there's one that's come up already here, but this forms a lovely mound of these beautiful, dark, rich burgundy flower spikes, which come up, if you look at the height of it, it's about the same height as the leaf stand. So if you leave the leaf on, you don't get nearly as good a display. It's all about timing, as most things are in gardening. And when we're getting the die back on this leaf, as we're seeing here, that's the time to cut them back and allow these fresh bites to come up. And you can do that at this time before they emerge. So there's no risk of you cutting the flower spikes off at the same time. So we'll show you this in a couple of weeks time. It should be a mass of flower by the end of January, beginning of February, if we're lucky. Roses still flowering in January. Not an unusual thing you'd expect in an English garden, but on this sheltered southern face with a little bit of protection these get from this very mature wisteria just look at the thickness of these stems from the wisteria that's been growing here probably for 20 or 30 years and these buds are still standing very well and just look at this one should give us some flower later into january that as long as we don't get any hard air frosts which the abnormally high seasonal temperatures that we've got here it's 14 to 15 degrees here today on the first of january which is not normal but again, we need to give these roses a good cut back. This is Queen of Sweden. Really, this needs thinning out quite considerably. You'll see in here a lot of this darker, older wood would be 
massively benefited by removing that and allowing these green younger stems to come up. But what I'm also going to do with this is cut it off hard back to around two to three feet, probably at the two foot level rather than the three foot. Take all the dead wood out and that will allow it to self-support itself because by leaving it and cutting it back as we did the previous years to around four foot at this level, it has had to have some support. It was starting to go over simply by the sheer weight of flour on this. It's incredible how much flour and for what length of period this one flowers for in this direct south position. But a good haircut on this and a thinning of the dead wood should do it the world of good. And we'll get some blood fish and bone or organic fertilizer around the base of this once we're tidied up the border and hopefully that will allow things to grow away now gradually nothing too high in nitrogen so we don't want to spur it into growth too early the risk of the frosts knocking it back hard looking now towards the south God, lovely bright so nice to see the sunlight this time of day after such a dull december but the garden's looking very good. I'm very pleased with the way this is holding up. The hedges have all been cut and are looking beautiful. And with a backdrop of a bit of sun and some blue sky. Although the clouds are starting to thicken up now. We're in for a good day's gardening here over on the Norfolk Broads. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that little touch up. We're going to be doing more videos over the next few weeks. Showing you the progression of spring here in the UK. So do subscribe and pop back to see how we're getting on. Bye for now.